Welcome to the Abbey Museum's 2011 Field School in Archaeology. Giving us a tour of the site, we have Hannah Wellman, the Abbey Museum's summer intern for the summer of 2011, and Hannah is a graduate of the 2010 Field School in Archaeology, so she's going to give us a short tour. So take it away, Hannah. Hello and welcome. You see, you know, life's really rough when you're digging here. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, but it's been beautiful today, I hear. So um, we'll just take a look around and talk about what the people are doing here. We do very basic archaeology, so everybody's digging in a one square meter pit. If you come over here, you can look inside. This one's been taken down, it looks like maybe 30 to 40 centimeters, and I'll just go over there and point out the stratigraphy. What you can see here is you can see the sod, which is where the grass grows. And then you have the shell layers of the midden. All the shells have been deposited over time, so we're essentially digging in somebody's trash heap. A little bit of a clay lens there from the looks of it. And they're going to keep digging down until they hit the sterile subsoil, at which you no longer expect to find artifacts. And if you see, they're turning up some big rocks. I don't actually know if those have any significance, but it could mean something. The, you see he's mapping his rocks there. right there so that we know where oh, they rocks, are. Bones. Yeah, bones. Oh, and bones. Where are the bones? Right oh. Two hollow bird nice. bones. Nice. It's a nice swannel bone. We'll give those back now. Yeah. So you can actually do your stuff. We go up here to the screen. So as they dig down into the pit, it all goes into a bucket. And then you haul the bucket up to the screens where you shake them. And in the screens, you can sometimes find smaller things that you might have missed as you were just digging up soil before. We'll come sneak up on Doug's Hi, screen. I'm it? sure Doug doesn't mind being filmed. So they shake the screen, and you end up with all of your clamshells, rocks, um, and then hopefully find some exciting artifacts. Have you found anything in this screen? <laughs> this screen, no. No. Other screens, yes. Found some bone points. Let's see, what are we, she has two things that we just found. We'll go Little look at them. chips. Just, you can see those. Those just came out of the screen. Oh, nice. There's a bone. So that's the bone, faunal bone. It's the inside. It's been broken. And the little flake. Small, but... Everything you find in these digs can have significance. It's go. all about context. Oh, and there we go. That's a nice piece of pottery. Maybe a little bit of decoration there. It's hard to see because it's still grubby. Later, we take everything with us back to the lab, and we wash it, and we catalog it, and then we start to draw more conclusions from the stuff that we found. Are you hitting subsoil, or is that clay? So, that coloring there looks like they're getting to the bottom of their pit. And they've also come up on a lot of rocks and some earthworms. Exciting things. That's the pit I dug last year. Let's see if I can find the burn point from yesterday. As I said, everything's laid out in one meter squares. So all of this fluorescent tape tells us where previous pits have been. And this site's kind of unique because we're this, it's been dug up twice previously, once in the 1930s and once in the 1990s. So we are actually hitting, there's some orange tape over on the far side of that pit. That's where we're hitting the 1990s dig. So we're sort of trying to cover as much of the site now as we can by digging to adjacent pits. So that's really good news when we hit that, because we know that we're getting in the right direction. That over there is the datum point, which we couldn't find. We had to get the metal detector to find it. And it's just a reference point, which is placed somewhere on the site, um, so you can survey and find coordinates from that point. And it's basically just a really good reference, and it makes sure that everything else is neatly mapped out and everything's um, from there. 
they came up on some pot pieces over there, which are over at the table. But that's really exciting because last year in one of those pits, they also found just, it's a smushed pot and it was sort of disintegrating, but um, parts of a hole, which was really exciting. It's always exciting when you find bits and pieces of that. That is Dr. Art Spies. He is our head archaeologist and he comes and he <laughs> runs the dig for us with the help of Julia Clark from the Abbey Museum. She's curating other collections. Let's see. So these are pieces of the pot that they came up in one of the pits. And they found it just like that, which is really exciting. It's, um, pot doesn't preserve well in the soil, so it's really exciting when you find pieces all in a line and close to something resembling a part of a hole. It's incredibly difficult to find a whole pot, so we get excited about even pieces like this. This is all our equipment, equip, equipment? equipment. Um, there's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of carloads, a lot of shovels, a lot of trowels. Um, you really take over the site when you move in, so. These people are incredibly kind to let us dig on their property, so we're very grateful to them, and yeah. Well, thank you, Hannah. <laughs> thank you for being our tour guide and taking us around the site. I hope you all enjoyed this short tour, and maybe we'll have more for you in the, in later in the week. So yeah. thanks very much for joining us. Bye. Bye.